Speaking of lights, Christmas lights, you won't believe this. Meteorologist Michael Coos is live at one home where the word moderation isn't <laughs> part of the vocabulary at this festive time of year, Michael. No, Anne, it is out the window for sure. We are up here in Richmond Hill. Take a look at this light display. The most amazing thing I've honestly ever seen, and I've been to a lot of these, this puts the Griswold in Griswoldian light display. And earlier today, we spoke with one of the designers behind this project. So this is Command Central, basically, where we create all our sequences and make it all happen. Martin Lindsay is half of the team responsible for the amazing Christmas display at 4 Rosea Corp. Yeah, that maple has uh, almost 10,000 blue LEDs on it. It's quite spectacular. We have 28 boxes throughout the yard which talk to each other and communicate to the computer, which uh, do all the switching and do all the control of the lights. He means that more than 70,000 lights that he and his brother spent over 400 hours putting up this year. Lights that have earned more than $23,000 for charities like the Chum Christmas Wish. Because we've gone to LEDs this year, we've increased the amount of lights by four times and decreased our energy bill by about a third. Every night we have over 70,000 lights here dancing to music. You can tune into your radio on 104.9 FM, enjoy the show, and donate to a good cause. It's looking and feeling a lot like Christmas in and around the GTA. Will that be the case this weekend? Warmer weather on the way. How warm? The answer next. It's chilly now, but there's a warm-up of a kind on the way. We're live to meteorologist Michael Coos, who's outside that incredible house that redefines Christmas decorations. Michael. It sure does. Up here in Richmond Hill, uh, basically Bayview and Steels. This is one of my favorite parts right here, the snowman snowball fight. Miss, 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 miss. It's an unbelievable fight. Here we go. Face shot. Face shot returned, blows the hat back, another blowing hat back with the face shot and a miss. And that continues, and it's not just the same thing each time you follow it. That, that was the most misses, in fact, I'd actually seen in a while. Normally it's face shot, face shot, face shot, back and forth. But these guys are gluttons for punishment. They just keep taking it in the face. That's what makes it so good. This is an amazing display, definitely worth checking out. And for a great cause, too, raising money for a tremendous amount of charities. They've raised $23,000 in the last four years, uh, so come on down, uh, take in the display, tune in your radio, it's all done to music, put your money in here, it goes to charities like the uh, Chum Christmas Wiss Foundation, so absolutely fantastic. The weather, ideal for it, it's cool, it feels chilly with the wind, wind out of the northwest, 30 kilometers an hour right now. Uh, in behind me, if you can see, there's a, a parcel making factory there, on the left side, that bear shoots into the factory, a plume of smoke comes out of the top, and then comes out the other side. There's your made package. Absolutely unbelievable. Let's throw it back to the newsroom now. Thanks, Anne. Weekend forecast looking pretty good. We are up here at 4 Rosea Court in Richmond Hill. Uh, check out this light display. It's online as well at lindsaylights.com. Uh, the weather this weekend, if you want to come out this evening, nice for being in the car. More of a walk-around type of weekend as we move from Saturday into Sunday. First of all, this evening remains cool. Minus 6, feeling minus 13 to minus 14 with winds at about 25 kilometers per hour. Same story tomorrow morning. Minus 6, feeling minus 13 to midday. Oh, we're looking at a temperature of around minus two, and we should get some sunshine there into the afternoon, a mix of sun and cloud, and a little bit warmer than today. Temperature coming up to about one degree. Sunday, outstanding with a high of seven degrees. I'm thinking about writing my blog on the Lindsay lights here. You'll want to check that out at citynews.ca and follow the links to blogs, go to weather, and that's where the information will lie. That's a final check on your forecast. Back to you.